Are you Secret Service or something? Starting tomorrow, I'm no longer just a shipping clerk. I'm chairman of the board. And it's all because of Freaking.com. I'm recording. Are you Secret Service or something? I am. Oh, okay, hi. Hi. No, I was just going to let you know, if you park back in this area, there's a high likelihood that you wouldn't get out of here until everything had been turned over. So I just, just kind of let you guys know that this is not where you want to park. Have fun today. Okay. No worries, you too. Thank you. All right, take care. The intruding begins. Although, in fairness, the same thing might be happening if it were Ron Paul. The nominee for president. Technology Drive in Bedford, right next to an apartment complex, is being restricted, at least for parking. Currently three hours before doors open to see Donald Trump. We're in Bedford, New Hampshire, and actually he's not supposed to speak until 3 p.m., three hours after the doors open. That'd be six hours from now. It's a bacon fest. The facility where he'll speak is already echoing with the sounds of canine units, or at least dogs. We'll find out which. Yeah, I guess that's the canine unit from whence the barks are springing. Mr. Trump hasn't felt much Ridley love yet in this campaign, although I did run a demonstration against Hillary, so it's time to sort of even things up in some way. Not sure how that will be. Uh, my disposition towards Trump is kind of complicated. I realize that with his business background, he might provide some slight initial improvements if he became president. He'd be different from the establishment to some extent. But that may be the real danger. A small initial improvement could give him the kind of popularity Hitler had toward the beginning of his reign. And a presidential candidate who says the U.S. isn't using torture enough, well, that's about all you need to know as to whether he's like Hitler. The hideous thing it is, it's, it's not really certain that having a Hitler-esque government would be much worse than what we have now. And I, like so many others, can appreciate the fact that he seems to sort of either speak his mind or at least say things that would normally be considered unpopular. Speaking of unpopular, though, I, I'd really like to have an unpopular president. I, I fear an unpopular president a lot less than I fear a popular one, so, well, Hillary would be sure to be unpopular. On the other hand, I think she's more likely to get us into a war with Russia, and that's a probably a bigger deal than almost anything else, except maybe a war with China. One question I'd like to get answered for myself is whether there are going to be any intrusions at all on the nearby apartment complex. Now you saw earlier the pictures of people putting up the orange cones. Those were within about 50 yards of the complex, of the actual complex building. So I'm wondering if the Secret Service is going to intrude onto that complex property in any way? Uh, I, I, I don't know. They, they were here, they were nice to us, you saw, but we're still over two hours away from the doors even opening. If you uh, have any knowledge one way or, the no or another, if you know whether they did anything to the apartment complex, I'd like to know about it. And uh, this is uh, all the talismans I'm wearing for documentation, the audio thingy, thingies, hopefully, and all in all side, that's if I can do it. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com